Well, it's first thing in the morning and it's a snowy, awful day, but I'm going to meet my buddy, Johnny Twinley. John has been doing a series of drawings at the Picasso Sculpture Show here at the Museum of Modern Art. He's been drawing every single sculpture and there's lots and lots of them. Well, when the, when the exhibition opened last fall, um, I purchased a membership and I've been coming, I don't, I've been here maybe a dozen times or so, just drawing the sculptures. Um, we actually learn about, a lot about form, you know? I love drawing figures, or human figures from life, and you learn a certain thing there, but it's, it's endlessly fascinating to draw Picasso's sculptures, you know? It's almost like watching him make the things as you take it apart and put it back together in your drawing. I mean, I constantly have a grin on my face while I'm drawing because you're watching him make this thing. You're thinking about how he made it and um, thinking about him laughing hysterically as he puts these crazy juxtapositions together. Um, it's an excuse to make a drawing, too, in the end. It's a, it's a diary. This was my, my Picasso autumn. It's been fun. I, I think Picasso maybe had more fun than anybody in the 20th century anyway, or, or as much fun as anybody else. Uh, he, he's just like a kid playing with form over and over and over again. It takes us all back to when we were five years old and a box of coloring crayons where that was an afternoon. And at some point, uh, we forget about that. Right. And the Picasso never forgot about it, and it's, it's a nice reminder that we don't have to. Have you always been a fan of Picasso's? Yeah, um, I, I think I always have. Um, before I started painting, um, I loved his drawings most, and I still do like his drawings a lot. And I've always been attracted to artists' late work, whether it be Bob Dylan or Miles Davis or Picasso. Um, I'm not as interested in Cubism or um, his, cla his early rose period or his blue period. I love the late work. I'm interested in seeing what a restless and in his case, old man, he lived to be 91, 92 years old, um, what that person does with a lifetime of experience. What better place to talk about stretching than a Picasso exhibition? Picasso was the greatest stretcher of them all as far as I can tell in terms of form. Picasso's constantly setting up situations where he's not sure what might happen. Well, it's always a surprise whenever you line the two up because you can't control where. This one lines up perfectly. This part doesn't line up at all, and it's so exciting. It's like Christmas morning every time you put two of them together. If you watch progress shots of Picasso's paintings, he often starts with blocks of color or an underpainting that's very loosey-goosey or organic or that could go a number of different ways and it puts him in a situation where he's not necessarily in control and he loved that um, at the same time he was totally in control it's that fine line between thinking and not thinking the poet Robert Frost said something like, no discovery by the writer, no discovery by the reader. In other words, if the person making the thing doesn't have one of those, oh wow, moments, the person looking at it probably won't have one of those moments. And so in the stretching course where we're making all these seemingly unrelated drawings and then snipping them up, reassembling them, it puts you in a position where you can have one of those aha moments. Whereas if you sit down and you have a formal plan and you be overly careful, it might not be as interesting. That was lots of fun. If you haven't had a chance to see this Picasso show, you might be out of luck because I think it's about to end. But, you know, there's still lots of other artists who can inspire you to move your work in new directions and to stretch. And one of them is certainly Johnny Twingley. Um, he is going to be teaching in our news term and it starts very soon. So you better sign up because, well, there's not just Johnny, but there's five other teachers who are also going to inspire you in new and different directions. And there's our other new courses starting soon. And meanwhile, I want to get home before the snow gets too intense. Yeah. <laughs>